In this video, I'm gonna show you the number one social listening tool. This is how you can manage your brand and protect your reputation. Also, measure your brand awareness and customer insights, analyze your competitors, and so much more. You're gonna love this tool. Stay with me. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today we're looking at Brand24, the best way to keep track of how your brand is doing in the public eye. They're sponsoring this video, but I am an avid user of this platform for my own brand and for my clients. This platform gives you personalized reports, solid metrics, and customer insights that let you know just how much buzz you're generating, whether it's good or it's bad, and what your audience is asking for. This is so useful. We're gonna take a look at their dashboard and see all of this in a little more detail. Here we are, and you'll notice I have my first project already ready to go. Immediately, we get a bunch of data on my topic of choice, which in this case is personal branding. It's the thing that I do, and it's the entire basis of my business. We start here on mentions, so I'm looking at actual mentions of creators online. I've got it set for the last 30 days, but I can adjust this for a specific timeline. 30 days works for me in this case. Wow, and how about this for sources? Over 17,000 results, which I can filter here by simply collecting the social media platforms of my interest. Now this gets really interesting when we start to explore all of the information here. You'll notice that Brand24 is very, very detailed, but at no point will you be overwhelmed by these features. I love the idea of being able to single click sentiment. Brand24 is doing the heavy lifting to understand what is the sentiment? Are people overall happy or not on this topic? If I wanna look at it as a whole, I'll clear these filters and it will update live. Speaking of heavy lifting, let's click over to summary where I can see at a glance mentions, reach, interactions, top posts and profiles on this topic. I also love that I can check the most influential sites. If I'm an expert in personal branding, this might guide me on the platforms where I wanna actually build a presence. But wait, it gets even better. You know that I absolutely love AI features and platforms. This is the first of several AI driven features in Brand24 that are absolutely outstanding and make this platform amazing. Check this out, insights specifically on my keyword of choice. It's gonna break down when it sees a peak in mentions or any other trends it observes. So here, for example, there was a peak in mentions on Monday because of new personal branding resources and courses released. If I'm a creator in this space, I'm gonna to wanna to check these citations and see what exactly is happening in my industry. The AI has observed that there's an increase in positive mentions. So there's a good chance that these resources are being received positively. Listen, when it comes to AI, it truly is better than humans at some things and computing data and computing data quickly is one of those. Absolutely incredible that this technology can help us understand understand what might be happening in our industry. Again, a breakdown on sentiment, a very digestible summary of what trends we're observing with such specificity. And my favorite feature is right down here, recommendations. These are action steps for you to take. For example, capitalize on the positive response to personal branding resources by promoting similar high quality content and engaging the community. Address the spike in negative mentions by investigating the cause. Here's a great idea, explore partnerships with personal branding influencers. We often think about launching courses or products on our own and to our existing audiences, but I could actually use Brand24 to find other like creators that might be interested in doing an affiliate deal with me, for example. Six very good recommendations and actionable insights. This is what makes Brand24 so unique. Hopefully by now you're thinking, huh, I wonder what it would say about my industry. And that's an indication that you should hop over over to brand 24 and check. I won't have time to go through every single feature, but we've got an analysis, sources, even a breakdown of influencers. And this is definitely right. Gary Vee in the top three, that sounds about right when it comes to personal branding. Other accounts I mention often, The Future, LinkedIn Learning, Adweek, there's so many great ones here. How easy is it to actually set up a project or a keyword? I'm gonna show you. Here, let's think about this from the brand perspective. I'm a creator and one of my biggest brand partnerships is with Adobe Express. I'm gonna enter that as a keyword and I'm also gonna enter the hashtag as well as the hashtag that ambassadors specifically use. Maybe even a competitor that you wanna monitor. Lots of possibilities here, I'll select next. This is very important that you actually take time to select the language. So it'll default to all languages, 
But let's say, for example, I'm only interested in mentions in the language being English, then I will specify that here and I'll click create project. Fantastic. So from the brand perspective, this is about the very best way that you could track performance and mentions of a particular brand. But even me as a fellow creator, this is useful for me to see what other people are creating on the hashtag or on this topic not just the hashtag or a simple mention, but a whole collection of them. And again, a breakdown by platform. This is particularly interesting for me right here, this little exclamation mark. I just entered this keyword. So it says, hold tight, we're analyzing anomalies. This is the anomaly detector in brand 24, which triggers whenever there's a spike of mentions. Once it's finished processing, it will actually tell you why the spike happened in the first place. So it's something that you can respond quickly to. And this is a new feature in Brand24 and a good example of how we're benefiting from the use of AI. There we go, on March 26th, we saw a significant spike in mentions due to Adobe Summit 2024. Announcements were made on generative AI solutions. That is true. I know that because of all the projects I'm working on, but the average person might not know that. And they're looking for an explanation on what this little hump is from. Absolute incredible example of AI at work. How about this one? April 10th, a spike in mentions due to positive sentiment around creative uses and educational webinars for Adobe Express, alongside discussions comparing it to alternatives like Canva. That is also true. That represents a possible creator community launch or campaign where the brand has intentionally created content that will drive discussion. How awesome that I can confirm these anomalies are correct. And I think this is such an important feature for people that are monitoring and managing brands. How might you leverage a anomaly detection? Well, first of all, you might be able to engage influencers, seize opportunities to connect with influencers who gain sudden recognition in your domain. Here we can filter by follower count, number of mentions, there's my friend Las, voice share, even influence, as well as an influencer score. We can also think about mitigating brand crises. So what is that root cause of unexpected events allowing you to respond quickly, protect your brand's reputation, this page again, giving you an analysis here that you can select on and learn more. As well, this is really gonna drive better reporting for you. Anomaly detector is kind of like your secret weapon when you share your monthly reports, showcasing your proactive approach and really that you have an in-depth understanding of your brand's online dynamics. So cool. Now with all of this data on your own brand, you can pitch it against your competition with Brand24's new comparison feature. Here you can contrast two different projects across all metrics you might need so you know where where you will need to catch up and where you want to extend your lead. I've just clicked on the comparison tab. Here we can compare projects or periods. I'll stick with projects for this example and we'll use Adobe Express. I'm gonna actually for this one, select Canva, which is their competitor. We'll compare the two. And that's exactly what we can do. Canva's definitely a bigger brand. And we can see that reflected in the numbers, looking at things like social media mentions, positive or negative mentions, social media reach as a whole. This is interesting, non-social media reach. Reach. So that's including things like domains, average monthly visits number, as well as visibility ratio. I've seen this abbreviation pop up a few times on Brand24, AVE, which stands for Average Value Equivalency. This is often used to measure dollar value for media coverage in a PR campaign. Again, this is just the overview and we can export to CSV if we wanna save this or use it elsewhere. We can look at mentions, we can look at reach positive or negative sentiment, as well as share of voice, sentiment breakdown, and categories to share. You get the idea. It is very easy to compare in Brand24. Now, you know I can't finish this without mentioning Brand24's AI features. I love AI features, especially when they are helpful and make people's lives easier. Oh boy, do they deliver in this department. They have plenty, and I gave you a little taste with their anomaly detector, but now we're gonna take a look at six major AI features that are sitting right there on your dashboard. I'm gonna move fast because we've touched on some some of these, but we'll start with AI insights. We looked at them earlier. This is taking the raw data that you saw and interpreting it into a narrative so that you can understand it and also verbalize trends, as well as giving you recommendations on what to do about it. Next, under Lab24, the advanced analytics, which at the time of recording this video is in beta, Let's start by selecting topic analysis. Topic analysis gives you some deep data on topics related to your project and it categorizes them nicely between platform sentiment and giving you overall popularity. And there's so many options here that you can choose from, digital marketing hype, empowering events, you get the idea based on that keyword. Let's now go to emotion analysis under this same category. 
Emotion analysis tells you what kind of emotions your topic or brand has been eliciting in your audiences over time. This stuff is often so hard to quantify and I love that this tool has a way of visualizing it. Moving right along from our navigation here, I'm gonna select AI Brand Assistant. Now this you might think of like ChatGPT, but with direct access to your data. You can talk with it just like you're used to and ask it direct questions like a personal assistant, typing something here or from the example suggestions. Let's select one of the examples. The great thing about it is that it's programmed to give you supporting data for everything that it says. So you can just be sure that those annoying AI hallucinations you might find on other platforms, they're not gonna mess up your plans. How awesome. And I have two more that I wanna show you. Let's move to metrics analysis, giving you a deeper look at your metrics, especially as they relate to specific channels. Basically an AI model gift wraps it all for you in a few sentences and paragraphs, breaking it down so it's really clear to see and lift and understand for whatever your use is. Okay, and we have one more, that's gonna be intense analysis. I mean one more in relation to AI tools. Intense analysis looks beneath the surface of your mentions to figure out why they were made in the first place. This is especially useful for things like SEO, search engine optimization. Intent categories like promotional, informational, opinion sharing, question query, advocacy, and others. Like I promised, at least at the time of recording this video, six amazing AI integrations that are gonna help you manage and protect your brand and reputation. There you go. That's how you can stay on top of your brand with Brand24. I love this platform. I'm linking to it below in the description so you can check that out. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep this conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Thank you to Brand24 for this collaboration. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching those coming up next. Thank you.